today at Rocket we are talking to Morgan Boyer, uh, Partner Relations at Press News USA. Hello, I would like first to ask you about digital communication and uh, ask you why uh, businesses and media should use it. Well, what's really powerful about digital communication is it just blows the roof off of the reach you would usually have. Um, so at Fresco News, we're doing a lot with crowdsourced journalism. Um, we're allowing newsrooms to create assignments and have our users respond, which really creates a greater sense of connectivity, greater engagement, and it really changes this, the landscape of the news that we're reporting on. What is the impact of digital communication uh, in society? I'd say the impact is a greater globalization, connectivity, um, and we have a lot of, this generation in particular, the millennials and the upcoming uh, Z generation, I think is the next one, um, this is what they've been raised with. So they've been trained to document everything, to constantly be reporting what they've been doing, even if it's not on a journalistic level. So even as Generation X and baby boomers are kind of inheriting some of these qualities, my great grandmother is actually on Facebook and she has an iPhone. And so maybe they don't they don't get it completely, but the best way to reach the most people is by you know coming to them where they're at, and that tends to be as as the populations grow, it's going to continue to be with those hyper connected, hyper engaged populations that are, you know, all in all the social media and digital communication networks. So, uh, your speech is, uh, today's speech is about uh, the death of a news crew mm -hmm. and uh, the citizen journalists. I would like to ask you, what citizen journalists is? So, I'll go into this at length on, in my presentation, but I'd say citizen journalism is the impulse to report without a publisher, um, to be able to report, edit, produce your content without having to worry about a gatekeeper. So this is something that I think is pretty limited to the digital era, even though prior to the internet there were, you know, that the impulse existed, it really didn't have very many legs because there weren't the channels for, you know, exposure. So I would say that citizen journalism is a product of an era where we have the ability to challenge the status quo from behind a computer screen. Um, and when people are vigilant to what's going on around them, and they see injustices, or they see things that have not been given very much light, citizen journalism is the impulse to bring things to light, to have your voice heard, to reach people with a story that you think is powerful, and share what matters. So uh, this phenomenon will not affect the quality of journalism, but the quality of disseminated information. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I think there might be a hit on quality for a brief period of time as we acclimate to what's coming in. But I think that most of the traditional practices of journalism will be married to the new incoming content. And so instead of just having editors or reporters be responsible for producing the content and gathering the news, they will be focused on curating what citizens have been gathering. They will be focused on editorializing it. They'll be focused on presenting it and moderating it. So you can spend a lot more time covering more topics, making the decisions that matter in your reporting, rather than having to be on the scene, getting the photo of that car crash, getting the photo of that protest. You're able to cast a wider net and collect more content and empower a, and engage a much bigger population. So how can we control this information? Control? Yeah. Um, I mean, I think I think we're gonna have to develop a new ethics system. I think we're gonna have to really revisit the structures of, you know, what we're relying on. And just as when the digital age began and the publishing world took a hit, we're gonna see another revolution as far as how our content is gathered. That's pretty inevitable. Um, but I think it's really important that we. Focus on the edifices that really matter, um, that we're focusing on transparency or we're focusing on um, responsibility, focusing on accuracy, and we are being as flexible and responsive to the industry as, as it grows. Also, you are uh, 
you are implying the death of uh, the uh, news crew. So yeah. is this the future of media? It's going to be a slow process, but I think once once you've created a supply that is so grand and so expansive, you're going to realize that some people are not going to be able to keep their job. And as we see streaming services allow company allow individuals to cut cables and you know they don't have to pay for a subscription to a cable company or, or satellite because they have Apple TV or Roku or Google uh, or Chromecast. Um, they're going to need to receive their news in a different way, and the companies are going to need to monetize in a different way. So advertising is going to change in that model, and so is reporting. Um, and again, like I said, it's not going to be so much that people are going to no longer be needed to moderate this information that we're coming, we're getting in, but rather they're going to have to repurpose it. They're just not going to be out in the field collecting it itself. And about uh, today's event, uh, I want to talk about its purpose. So, uh, what is the purpose of this event, and what people should know about it? For the Rocket Summit, yes, or the Rocket Summit. Um, I think it's about an exchange of ideas in an area that you know few people might know even about. Um, meanwhile, there's a very vibrant culture and uh, citizen population that should be accessed by these ideas. Um, so you know, leave, leave no stone unturned and uh, make sure that we're we're all influencing every every place that's listening. Yeah. So uh, should it become a tradition, annual tradition? The rocket summit. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> um, I'd come back. It's a very welcoming com country, and uh, you know, every year we'll see new technologies emerging, new forms of digital communication and uh, entrepreneurship that will really rock the boat and, and change the status quo. So yeah, I think I think it can it's only about sharing the experience. So uh, absolutely. Thank you for the interview. Have a nice day. Thank you. <laughs>